Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to try to find the volume that's enclosed by the cylinder and anything above this paraboloid that cuts out the bottom of the cylinder right here. The equation of the paraboloid is z equals 1 minus r squared. Notice the radius of the cylinder is equal to 1 and the height of the cylinder is equal to 4. Since we're using cylindrical coordinates, the volume element is r dr d theta dz. And so when we try to integrate the dv, that becomes r dr d theta dz, and the limits determine the volume. We're going to, uh, in the z direction, we're going to integrate from the top of the paraboloid to the top of the cylinder. So that would be from 1 minus r squared to 4 for the value of z. In the angle direction, we're going to integrate all the way around the circle from 0 to 2 pi. And for the radius, we're going to integrate from 0 to 1. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's start with the dz. When we integrate dz, we get z. So this is equal to, we still have a double integral left over theta and over r. We have the r dr d theta left. And then the dz becomes z evaluator from 1 minus r squared to 4. And so when we evaluate those limits, we get the following. We get the double integral of r times, plug in the upper limit, we get 4 minus, when we plug in the lower, lower limit, we get 1 minus r squared, that becomes minus 1 plus r squared. So got to be careful with the negative sign, we subtract this, so minus 1 plus r squared, then we still have the dr and d theta left. And we're going to integrate over theta and integrate over r. So the next thing we're going to integrate is we're going to integrate over d theta. We can simplify this. So this becomes equal to the single integral over r remaining. We have 4r minus, oh, let me take that back. That's 4 minus 1, which becomes 3r and uh, plus r cubed. I'm messing up here with the signs. Plus r cubed. So we have 4 minus 1 is 3 times r. And r squared times r is r cubed times dr. And d theta is integrated, becomes theta, evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. So when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. Plug in the upper limit, we get 2 pi. So this is equal to 2 pi times the single integral from r equals 0 to 1 of the quantity 3r plus r cubed dr. Of course, that's an easy integral. This becomes equal to 2 pi times 3r squared over 2 plus r to the fourth over 4, evaluated from 0 to 1. You plug in the lower limit, you get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, you get the following. 2 pi times, that would be uh, 3 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Simplifying that, the common denominator would be 4, so this is equal to 2 pi times 6 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is 7 over 4, so this is equal to 2 pi times 7 over 4. The 2 and the 4 cancel out, which becomes 7 over 2 pi, and that is the volume of the region between z equals 4 and the paraboloid inside the cylinder. And that's how it's done.